Community Media Access Collaborative would like to thank Fashion Furniture for their support in helping us produce this program. It's because of our contributors and volunteers that CMAC is able to provide programming to the community. Welcome to Fresno City College. We got a, a special game for you here tonight between a great old rivalry between Fresno City College and the College of Sequoias out of Visaya. That fella you see on the air right now, that's Coach Ed Maddock, and he is going to do something special right now. You know what he's going to do? He's going to bring out a legendary coach from Fresno City College, and uh, let's see if we can pick up what Ed's saying that gave his life to this community and this college for 30 years. There's two different types of people that I know. There's the chicken and then there's the pig. Which one are you? Are you a chicken or are you a pig? I'm a pig because the chicken gives a little, the pig gives his life. Well, this man, All right, that's uh, Ed Maddock, and he's going to bring out uh, right now uh, Coach uh, John Tomej. And uh, first of all, this is Tom Morgan. And Tom, uh, great to have you here, man. It really is. Can't wait. Can't wait. It's going to be fun. But it's great to have you here on a night when uh, we have such a terrific game. This is the nice thing that's going on right now. The man you see in the background there, that's Coach John Tomej. And he, he was uh, 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 here for many, many years. So many great players played for him. The, 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 I mean, uh, Roscoe Pondexter, here he comes. What a thrill it is. Uh, wow. I remember him so well uh, uh, coaching here for so many years. Okay. One, uh, you know, he was one of the original. Uh, him, Joe Kelly. By the way, that's uh, Mr. Cleary right there. Coached the Memorial back in the 60s and you 70s, betcha. I think. Yeah. He, was, uh, he was a great coach as well. He's also, both of them are members of the Fresno Athletic Hall of Fame, which is an amazing thing. You're, both part, of you're part of that, aren't you? You're part of that board? Oh, I'm on the board of directors, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, Small uh, little board of director thing. Come hey, on. come on. <laughs> I was just happy to be around people like that. Absolutely. And John is, uh, is saying hello to the crowd. And uh, man, when he was uh, coaching here, we can't hear him say it. But when he coached here, oh man, uh, this gym was packed like it is now. And uh, uh, he did a great job. He, so many great players came through here, you know? They did. Anyway, uh, this is, uh, they're going to also pay tribute to the graduating sophomores uh, tonight. Nick Hilton, Mike Crawley, Terrence Wenicke, uh Aaron Cameron, Jeffrey Stallman, BJ, uh, no, BJ Shelton is only a freshman, according to the program. Hmm. Wait a minute. He yeah. was here last year, wasn't he? Yeah. Boy, I think that's what you call wishful thinking. Maybe. Maybe but a misprint. I don't know. Miss Print, no, it clearly says FR. I, you're right. Rather than SO. I, I, no, you're right on that one. <laughs> but we would like to have, oh, what a nice scene that is. You oh, see all the parents awesome. coming out and congratulating their sons. Can you get a shot of that, fellas? That is awesome. Maybe from up, yeah, that's great. And uh, it is a family. It is a family. As, as most colleges, you know, most college right. programs are. You're yeah. a parent. I, you, you got one out there. I, I, uh, a couple years ago, Tyler was out there. Tyler yeah. and I, we and showed an awesome got, moment. Now, yeah, now you got another one out there. Right? Uh, Cole, next year. Next year, Cole will be out there. He's playing for Coach Maddock. You know, Coach Maddock calls it the brotherhood. and There is no better coach than Coach Maddock, as we know. He's, well, he's, he's the man. Amazing. There's nobody better than Cole. Developing a culture than Coach Maddock. And all his players that play for him are just, you know, oh. they, they get from the experience. It's Tyler now going to college out in uh, Bellevue in, 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 yeah. in uh, Nebraska. Yes, sir. He's at uh, Bellevue. 
uh, doing a great job out there. Uh, you know, we all we owe it all to Coach Maddock and the staff here. I mean, he just you know that's the thing. Amazing. He's got to hold some kind of record that oh. everybody on his team every. goes and plays and see how the families uh, that. together. And the, but everybody that plays here goes on and plays for somebody else after yep. their two years is up. They do. They, I think everybody embraces him. Uh, people that. Listen to what he has to say. His, oh, got Coach Emmett too. Thomas All Emmett. right, on the mic. Thomas is an assistant coach uh, for the Rams, and uh, he played great here. He really did. He went on to get his college And now they're giving Ed a special award Absolutely. for him. Ed Maddock has been here for 10 years. The Rams have won every single year the fans love them the uh the players love them like we mentioned they all go on to uh, uh you know they go on and get four-year uh, scholarships and stuff and, and and they have families and they always come back great and picture. this is another great, great bunch picture. great bunch of kids yeah awesome. oh look mindy oh mindy is awesome she's also so a big awesome. part of this program she is her and her mom and her dad, uh, it's just great. This is a nice night. This it really is. A great is. Night. This is a packed house. Yeah, packed we have a little bit of a late start because uh, we did the women's game before this. Yeah. And that kind of like went long, and the fellas had to, uh, to get some extra time to warm up. But we're going to have the uh, national anthem right now. And this is a plan of national anthem. So here it is. Let's hear if we can hear the national anthem, okay? COS beat uh, the Rams uh, this year. And, and that was the only loss that the Rams had in the Central Valley Conference this year. And uh, so it was a hard fought game. Rusty Smith uh, and Ed are two great friends. These two coaches have been battling each other for a long time. Yes. And But when it's time to play the game, it's time to play the game, and they're as serious as a heart attack. Gloves come off, that's for sure. Yeah, so it's going to be an exciting game. Uh, COS won uh, down there. Yes. And uh, uh, the Rams have already, uh, they've already they won the, uh, yeah, they clinched. Nick Hilton being introduced. There's young Nick. He's uh, out of Jesuit High School in Sacramento. Here comes Terrence Winnicky from Palm Springs, Palm Springs High School. And uh, there's Aaron Cameron, who's been a great surprise out of Sacramento for the Rams. Here's Joffrey Stillman. And Jeffrey Stillman out of Los Angeles is Hamilton. And B.J. Shelton from Bakersfield High. And uh, 
I often think sometimes that they should introduce the whole squad all the way down to the end of the bench because they are one big team. Yeah, especially City, they play everybody, so it's... Starting... We'll see them all tonight, yeah. There you go. Uh, starting tonight, uh, we got uh, number four is Simon Krakowicz for uh, the COS. Number five is Turner Nelson. He's the, uh, the guard. Derek Check, number 15. Jumping center is uh, DJ Piera. And Marcus Jr. out of Clovis West High is number 23. And the Rams get the tip. Wernicke to Ter uh, Taylor Freeman. Here's BJ. Oh, my! That's a rude uh, welcoming by uh, number 32, Pierda. <laughs> He's from Brazil. And uh, because BJ is going to do that all night. He's going to drive. You know how he does it. He does. He's really good at going to the rack. No doubt. And they're going to need that tonight if they're going to have a shot at winning this. Derek Check. Uh, good call. By the way, the referees tonight, Kenny Chappell, he just made that call because he landed out of bounds is what he did. <laughs> and uh, Michael Martin and Quinn Crozier. Quinn the Eskimo. Mickey Hilton. This is Stallings. Taylor thinks about it. Good defense uh, by Simon Krakovic. Winnicky slipped a little bit. Now Taylor. And uh, good defense by COS. That's probably not the shot we want to be taking tonight. It's okay. Krakowicz uh, is their point guard, and here is uh, Marcus Jr., the fella at uh, Clovis West, as we prepare for the uh, entrance of uh, five white jerseys. As ah. we like oh, nice steal. Well, that was still a nice play by Dieda. Dita Piera. Great rebound by Terrence. Oh, come on, guys. There it is. Nice play. Joffrey. Joffrey Stillman. Ah. Oh, now they're going to call BJ. Yes, that's going to be BJ's first. And it is giant ball right in front of us. Marcus Jr. takes the ball out of bounds, gets it into Simon Krakovic. And there's a steal. Oh, nice play. That's Mike Crawley. Mike Crawley having a terrific year. He's having a great year. He is super athletic. He does a lot of things. A lot of things that people don't see on the court. Stepped out of bounds. I was wondering how far he was going to go. That was Marcus Jr. And uh, I like this kid here, Dorsey. Oh, I'm telling you, that kid is smooth. He's got the ball now at the top of the key. He makes some moves that I, I don't know. A couple weeks ago, I was watching him against Porterville. He made some moves inside. I, I just couldn't believe it. Just like that. Wow. Very smooth. You hear the the, oh. the team uh, as uh, lost control that time. Will uh, you know? I think the floor. Not to make excuses, of course, but I think the floor is a little slippery. I noticed that in the first game, there were some slips by both teams. I even remember some right where that happened. I, I do. I think when we were playing a couple Sundays ago out here, I think you, slipped, you and I slipped out there maybe. Maybe there's a sweat from us a couple weeks ago. Me? <laughs> oh. I think it was me. You and me. One of us. I don't know. I, 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 I'd like to be able to slip. Hey, maybe it was Del Bayshore. Give him a shot out. Love that guy. Oh, nice boy. play. Pass inside from Krakvich and uh, Dita Piera, the fella out of Brazil. Umberlandia. 
Yeah, he definitely had position on Terrence on that one. So. And he's going to try to make that a three-point play. And he does, and it's a four to three game in favor of the Rams. And this is Taylor as he brings the ball up over to BJ. Back to Freeman. Oh, nice play. Oh, how did he get that back? Tell me how he got that back. Hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Stays with it. Coach Maddox, they preach that every day in practice. So I think that I'll be answering that question. What? Uh, BJ has just been doing a, we were oh. saying the other night, since he walked in the door the first time, he's been just a great player. He, you know, you'll be hearing about him uh, in years to come. Absolutely. Fantastic kid. Fantastic kid. You know, I think uh, Fresno City's trying to push the pace, and I think COS is trying to slow that pace down. So we'll see the battle of wills here, Chris. Well, the full court pressure is not easy to break, it but not. Uh, COS is not a bad team at all. Oh, yeah. they're, a, they're a Rusty Smith coach team. And, uh, coach Smith's a great coach. He is. He's awesome. He's done a fantastic job at COS. There's the ball inside to the big guy, and he's going to get fouled. But by who is the question? Yeah, that's going to go on uh, Joffrey Stillman. That's his first personal third team foul on the Rams as Kyle Hurt gets ready to come into the lineup for COS. And for the Rams, D'Angelo Ashley ready to make his appearance. Nick Hilton back in for the Rams. Oh, rolls out. And uh, Terrence Winnicky, one of my favorite players. This guy's been amazing this year. Nice play. Beautiful oh, pass. What a shot. shot. Winnicky. And uh, that, I believe, was Nick Hilton got the assist on that. That was a great assist. Still by Nick. has the ball and Nick steals it. There it is. Nice play. He couldn't decide which one to go to and figured that uh, BJ would have the highest percentage shot. And that's who got it. That would have been it's, a hard decision. It's a ten, <laughs> yeah, really. It's a 10 to 4 game. This is uh, Cody Wilson. Close to backcourt, but uh, well, what was that all about? Yeah, uh, it's like a technical foul is coming here on somebody. Well, it seemed like uh, Cody Wilson there kind of walked up to Taylor Freeman like. What's your problem? Freeman, of course, just walked away. They're not, they're not going to waste their time uh, with that. So but I don't know what the call is. Uh, there's Quinn Crozier. He's saying it is a giant ball. No technical. That's a good thing. They'll let him play. That's positive. But here come five New Jerseys. Josh Sykes in the game. Evan Stallone in the game. Dorsey back in, Mike Crawley's back in, and also uh, Taylor Freeman. What's the, there seems to be a little bit of confusion right now. Outside shot, short by Check. We go the other way. This is Freeman back to Dorsey. Dorsey to Josh Sykes. 
Freeman. Dorsey says, let's start all over. We still got 15 seconds on the time clock. Why not? A little penetration there to Crawley. Bad pass. Picked up by Check. Back the other way. This is Mike Crawley on Check. What, what was that? Backcourt. His foot stepped oh, across. Stepped across. Yeah. That is kind of confusing, in all fairness. The ram uh, down it, the middle. If you're playing here for the first time, which they're not, but it's still, that's kind of confusing there. Uh, and with the black lines, you yeah. just don't know. Yeah. I agree. Taylor Freeman. Got two kids from Golden Valley High School up in Merced playing Josh and Evan. They're sophomores tonight, too. Boy, a lot of whistles here lot early whistles. in the game. This is their out of bounds team. They usually do some good, good, good OB plays here, Tim Chris. Let's see what happens. Evan Stallon. Wow. Five seconds. Five second time. Here comes Dorsey, Sykes, and Freeman back in the contest for the Rams. Sometimes you'll see Ed do that where he'll sub you out just for a minute or two just to tell you something. Yep. And you come right back in. Now we got another whistle. What in the world? Gonna call uh, Mike Crawley. Five fouls already. It's a lot of fouls. Just a good city. Hold it tight. Here comes the pressure. Junior back to Grafitch. Wow. Oh! For a second there, I thought he banked that. I just say, I think he did. Banks are open on Saturday. Nothing like it. Oh, look at Josh oh. go to the hoop. Josh Sykes out of uh, Golden Valley High School. His up in Merced. His coach is up here in the stands. Center up there, Coach Stone. Nice spin move. Everything was nice except the who didn't make the shot. Yeah. <laughs> and then he kicked it out of bounds. Out of Cottrell, out of Panacci. Comes out of the action. This is Josh Sykes once again. Taylor Freeman in the corner. Says, Let's bring it out to Will Dorsey and see what he wants to do with it. Nice block by uh, practice. Oh, they get the Rams got it back. Got it. Yep. Good call. A little sloppy here in the early going. It is. It is. Both teams trying to get untracked. Playoffs just around the corner. Next week. The league. The league is over. Let's. You know. Uh, this is one. One more score to settle and then uh, the playoffs the state playoffs start and everybody's looking forward to that good ball movement by the Giants good defense by the Rams inside look at the jerseys that was just good defense what a great rebound by Terrence Terrence Winecki okay there's Nick Nick's first three of the evening. There he is. Boy, his three-point shot has been a tremendous boost this year. Well, they got to call a foul inside. They're going to call it on D'Angelo. What? What? I'm with you. Don't know what happened there. Wow. 
Wernicke. He's I, I, That's I, a I, fourth rebound, I think. Chris. Yeah, I've become a big fan of his. He's a great ball handler, and he can pop that three. Look at BJ fight for the rebound. He was completely out of position, and he just he just willed it. COS showing some good discipline here on offense. Running their sets. Looks like a travel. All the way across the court. It's a shot clock. And they didn't get it off. They didn't get it off. So back to the action. <laughs> oh, let's see, who's there in that, in that game now? Who's uh, bringing that ball in bounce? Looks to me like, uh, is that Cole Morgan? That yeah, looks like him. That looks like Cole. You recognize that guy? I might know him a yeah. little bit. Might know him a little bit. Uh, I think he's having a great year this year. Yeah, we're really proud of him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he's, uh, I, I think the main thing with Cole now is his focus. He's got really good focus and he's uh, in tune with what they're doing. Yes, he's really bought into what Coach Maddox uh, providing out here at City College. I think it's helped that you know, his brother Tyler was here for a few years. And, uh, Cole's a gray shirt. And, you know, I would encourage anybody that comes here to do that gray shirt year. It's uh, just coming out of high school. You know, I, as you know, I coach high school basketball. And that one extra year these kids get, what, whether it's COS or Coach Maddox or whoever it is, it's, it, that maturity level just goes, yeah. Heads and tails. It, it's it's true. It's a total program, uh, and the the brotherhood, as they call it, yeah. is just so great. They're such great friends, but man, they know how to work. They do. They do. They work. They they work. Evan Stallant, kick it back out to Will Dorsey. Dorsey. And to Cole Morgan. Cole hits Dorsey. Dorsey still looking for his first three tonight. Oh, nice pass. They broke that press beautifully that time. They sure did. And it wound up in a bucket. A nice shot by Kyle Hurt. And it's a 15 to 10 game. This is Cole Morgan with the ball out of Clovis East High School. All everything while there. As was his brother Tyler. Thank you. We have a real good coach out there, Coach Adrian Wiggins. Cole gets his own rebound. Cole gets the foul and five new jerseys. Five new jerseys. Keeping them fresh. Keeping them fresh. This was a good group. Well, it's one of the, one of the great in. things about playing for the Rams is like, you know, you you have to work really hard to get on the team, but when you get on this team, you are a member and you're gonna work and uh, you're gonna play and uh, most likely you're gonna win. <laughs> 15 years of winning. Seems like uh, Dita uh, Piera is, uh, at the free throw line a lot tonight. He's a big kid. He did a really good job against the first game. Mm -hmm. right. Did you go to that game down there? I did not. You know that old gym they used to have down at COS? Man, I'll tell you, that was hard to win down there. You can go ask John Tomasian that. It was yeah. a hard place to win, or Vance Wahlberg, or even Ed Maddock. Yeah. Rams uh, just seem to be hitting a cold streak right here with nine minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah. What a low scoring game for yeah. under 10 minutes in the first half. Yeah, I think COS is uh, imposing their will a little bit here, slowing it down. Not what City wants, for sure. Oh, easy to call. Nice play. Taylor Freeman just had his 
Excuse me, Aaron Cameron. Aaron, that yeah. is, he was just waiting for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ed and uh, Rusty uh, getting a kick out of it. Two different opinions. Yeah. Yeah. That is frustrating as a coach when things aren't consistent sometimes. There's Terrence. There's BJ. Left hand, right hand, don't matter. It's great team basketball, Chris. Great team basketball. BJ close to picking up his second personal on that play. Yeah, I hope not. This is not all. Was Marcus Jr. Good defense by the Rams. Wow. Ford, what clear it pass. out. Go down the floor, and Mike Crowley puts it in for the Rams. Wow. Aaron Cameron had that awesome assist on that, Chris. That was a great look. Once again. Marcus Jr. At the top of the backboard. Winnicky. Another rebound. Yes, <laughs> right. A little contact there, no call. No harm, no foul. Oh, a nice steal by Krakovich. And he makes a nice shot over Cameron. From the corner, Nick Hilton hits a three. 22 to 14. Pace is picking up a little, Chris. Mike Crawley, the rebound. Get it over to Aaron Cameron. Top of the key. I don't think Coach Smith was happy with that shot. Winnicky looking inside. What happened there? Looks like BJ picked up his second foul. Who was that on? I thought it was on uh, it was on Nick Hilton, wasn't it? Oh, was it Nick? Okay. I only saw the end of it, and Nick was down. Yeah. I, I didn't, yeah, get, I I didn't think get that. that was on BJ. Oh, really? Yeah, I think he pushed. Not 100% sure. We'll find out. Top 10. This is Derek Check at uh, Centennial in Bakersfield. Pass <laughs> oh, to Kyle Hurt. He hits his second three. 22-17, it's a five-point game. Josh Sykes. Working hard, gets it blocked. Boy, there was a lot of stuff going on under those boards that time. Wow. Awesome that he stayed at it. Got hit in the face twice. Here comes their out-of-bounds team, their OB team. See what they do. They like to go to BJ on this, like a hot read, but they're double teaming them, so I don't see that happening right now. Let's see what they run here. Double screen. Nick Hilton. Try With, to get uh, Turner Nelson all over him, and there's an interception. And Piedra dribbles down into the corner, kick it back outside, and they say, let's start over again. And Derek checked us just that. This is Cody Wilson, back to Pierre. And inside to Pierre, I'll tell you, he's tough in there, isn't he? Yep. Six foot eight, freshman. They're playing behind him a lot, too, so I don't know if that's part of the strategy, but.
Well, that didn't work. Uh, <laughs> Nick was trying to get uh, uh, Cameron back door, and uh, they're just uh, a little slow. In this low-scoring first half. Yeah. It's definitely COS's pace. Yes. Except had a couple good ones, but they're not sustaining them. Nice pass. Oh, nice shot. <laughs> and that was a Derek Check again. Nice pass inside by Turner Nelson. This is Josh Sykes. He says, let's start over. Josh loses the ball. Knocked out of bounds. Stallone going to take it out of bounds, get it into Nick Hilton. Stallone, oh, tipped in beautifully by Mike Crawley. That was with the shot clock winding down. Awesome play by Mike. Tough call. Yeah, uh, Tough call. There has been a lot of whistles in this uh, in, in the first uh, in this first half. My goodness. Yeah. Nine fouls to four against City. I don't know. I'm sure, Coach Maddox thinking we're not getting that call in their end. Simon. Crackman, he's uh, from Canaris uh, Academy Slovakia. in Slovakia. You ever been there? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, it's a two-point game. Josh Sykes. That's, oh, oh, wow. Josh is uh, really developing his ability to go either way, to the right side or the left side. Yeah, so I remember him as a high school player uh, when he was playing out at Gold Valley. And he was definitely right-handed, but now, I've seen the last couple plays, he's used his left. Even on the right side, he's just left to try to draw that foul. It was pretty impressive. Here comes Cole Morgan for Mike Crawley. Makes the second, and it's back to a three-point lead for the Rams. And Cole comes up from behind and knocks the ball away. Cole always hustling. Cody Wilson will take it out of bounds. Nice defense. Nice defense. He had wow. nowhere to go. Good help defense there, too, by the team. Cody Wilson was uh, stymied by Josh and Cole. Evan off the front. Cole reached in just a little too far. He made a nice pick. He did. And, uh, <laughs> but ref, it was just a it was just a little foul. Yeah, but it was a foul. It was still a foul. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't take anything away from the hustle though. No. City College guys hustle. Rams hustle. Nice free throw.
Rajapik is. Uh, I'm just going to say he, he's good for 20 free throws when he blows one. Yeah. But it's a nice free throw. He's very oh. well balanced. Yeah, absolutely. And, Excellent form. There goes Josh. And he's stripped clean. Their OB team again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, the referees kind of argued over who. Yeah. Who uh, the foul was on, or whose ball it was. Oh, there's that slip again. Good. The side of the court. Yeah, good <laughs> balance by Nick. Get back up. Cameron shoots a three, misses, and a nice rebound by the big fella, Vieira. Oh, look at that hustle by Mike Crawley. Wow, he went flying out of bounds. He jumped over Coach Podesta. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, if I'm a track <laughs> coach, I'm thinking, hey. High jump. Come jump. on out and do that over here. Heck yeah. Wow, what a steal by Will. And a pass, Terrence, all right. Terrence. Terrence Renaki. Chris Daniels in the lineup, almost got that steal. I think what's happening here is, you know, CLS is definitely dictating the pace. City doesn't make the shots, doesn't allow them, doesn't allow them to get into the press, which you know that's their game, pressing the ball. So right now, uh, that was on Cody Wilson. So a couple on him. Is it okay? Chris Daniels out of Palmdale. Ball back to Daniels. Wow. There's a long three in and out by Derek Check. Winding down to two minutes. There was some contact in there, but no call. Oh, look at Dorsey. Ooh. Nice move. With the left hand. Ooh. Amazing. Wow. That'll get him going. Rams back up by six. Good play by D'Angelo, though, with no way to stop it he, uh, without picking up a foul. And uh, if that's going to happen, uh, Pierre is going to have his way. Yeah. He's a good player. He's a really good move for a big man. Under a minute in the first half. Oh, that's definitely an offensive foul. Yep, lower the shoulder. Great position by Nick Hilton. Great position. Sanchez in the game. 
Well, he's been having, he's been on a tear lately with three point shooters. You see him number 35. He's got a great three point. Oh, good hat, good hustle. Should be shooting 101. Yeah. yeah, Romero is definitely a spark plug for this team, so I hope we can make a little mini run here with 28 seconds left. Aaron Cameron will shoot one more. Stepped in the lane? No, too soon. Oh. <laughs> Paid off for the Rams as Aaron Cameron hits a second free throw. I should say third. <laughs> Clock winding down, 13 seconds, shot clock is off. I thought that'd be a five second count because it's not looking to the rack at all. Wow. Travel. Well, the Rams got three seconds to score. This is gonna be Cameron. Long, ooh, just off the side of the rim. And uh, that is the end of the first half. And uh, boy, a low scoring half and uh, uh, not a lot of action, it seemed. COS, I mean, COS, yeah, COS dictated the, the pace, that's for sure. It's not Fresno City's pace. Yeah, well, so good for COS. Well, I'll tell you what, we got a halftime show for you, and uh, we're going to uh, uh, go to that now. It's 31 25. That's the lowest score I remember here at City uh, in a long, long time. But uh, we'll take a, a break, and we'll come back with the halftime show, and then we'll see you for the second half. Well, I've been with the organization since 2006, I was here as a player. Um, I was here in 2006 and 2009, and this is actually my first year back as a coach. The most rewarding part of coaching I find is just helping these young men get to the next level, um, graduating and you know, trying to earn a bachelor's degree. Uh, to play point guard, it, it takes uh, a basketball IQ um, and just the feel of um, you know, when to pick guys up, when to get on guys, um, just trying to uh, you know, just get the, team, the team's pulse. You know? Kids nowadays coming out of high school, they just got more you know, the facilities are better, the equipment is better, so I, I, I'm starting to see they're a little more advanced earlier. The main thing I remind them is just that, you know, just to remember the bigger picture, you know, it's, it's about getting that degree. And just, you know, that it's not going to be easy. The next level is going to be tougher. School is going to get harder. Um, just the demand, the physical demand, the mental demand is going to get a lot harder. So, you know, there's no time to take breaks. And that's just a bad habit they all need to, uh, you know, pick up. The future of Fresno City men's basketball team will continue to teach hard work and help these young men build the camaraderie amongst each other and get to the next level. One of my favorite quotes is hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. So if these young men, you know, have the work ethic and the drive, Coach Matic always tends to get these guys ready and our main focus right now is to win the conference championship. It's important to do the best you can every single day because that's what it takes to succeed. You know, once we achieve that, it's a one game season after that. Um, here at Fresno City, you know, we, we practice and we prepare every day to try to win a state championship. And that's the goal every single year. Just being back at Fresno City all together is awesome. You know, I had some of my best basketball experiences here. So to be back in that gym, back on that bench, feels great. And just to help these young men win games and, and like I said, try to get to that next level, it's, it's awesome. Uh, it's important for the community to support the team because, you know, we're just trying to help these young men just have a better life. Like I said, you know, getting them off to college or off to the university level and earning those degrees, you know, it's something that helps the community. These young men will come back and, and do good for the community. This is my second year. Uh, I came here last two summers ago, straight out of high school, right after I graduated, and 
yeah, I've been here ever since. I'm, I'm so glad I'm part of this. Like, I didn't really know what it was all about before I got here, but I had some people telling me like about the brotherhood and how, how it's run here and Coach Maddock and all that, but I mean, once I really got here, I just fell in love with it. Uh, the leadership here at Fresno City, it all starts with Coach Maddock, obviously, like, and we're, we're an extension of him. That's what he always says. Now we're starting again as sophomores, we gotta be the two leaders and show the young guys how to do it, and I think we have been. This season, it's a really different team, but I think, I think we have a way better chance this year. I think we've won it all, for sure, but uh, it's just gonna take us locking mentally. First time I played here, it was, it was something I wasn't used to, like playing college ball. Like there was, I felt a lot of pressure too, especially playing here at Fresno City where they win every year. So, I mean, there's a lot of pressure, but I loved it. Like it was really fun. But the one thing I love most about basketball is probably it's just like an escape for me. I mean, I don't know, I play it every single day, like whether it's practice or just going to the park or something or games, I don't know, I just love it. Like, I just feel good when I play. <laughs> You gotta be a servant. That's what he, when you first get here, he tells us we all have to be servants. We gotta serve the sophomores or the coaches. We just gotta help people out, like on and off the court. And then on the court, you just gotta be tough. Like, you gotta handle the tough coaching that Maddox brings every day and can't let anything rattle you. And if you can do that, you should be all right. What I learned about life through basketball is just to never give up, just keep fighting till the end, you know, just, just try your hardest no matter what. Now, I'd just like to say thank you for all the support because we see it, we, we know we see it in the games when everyone comes out and cheers for us and everyone's always emailing Coach Maddox about how good, how good like young men we are and all that stuff, so we appreciate it. The one thing I love about basketball is the competitive spirit and like what Nick said, it's an escape from like reality. Uh, well, Coach, uh, he's a, he demands perfection from us, so he works us really hard, uh, he's tough on us but only because he sees the potential in us and he wants to get it out of us. Teaching young guys, this has been definitely a, a learning step for me because last year uh, I was the one following the leaders. So I had to like take on this leadership role and like take notes on how I was being led last year. So, you know, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. The moment that was special to me was probably uh, winning our first tournament last year as a freshman. It, was, it felt really good because you know you're playing for a winning program and you see like what we can do as a team. And it's different because I didn't really come from a winning team in high school, so it felt really good. It takes toughness, it takes like a mental capacity, and you have to work hard, you know? And you have to have a uh, good character, especially play for a coach like Matt. I see uh, definitely us breaking the California history and winning conference and uh, maybe, uh, winning state as well. We still have a lot of work to do, but I think we can do it. Go, Go Fresno, Fresno City Rams! Rams. Hello there. Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, Chris Terrence along with Tom Morgan. Tom, I don't know, kind of an interesting first half in that uh, you got to say that Sequoia has kind of slowed the game down a little bit. They totally and, they're, and it's, that it's pace. working and you work that with all the whistles. It's it was a long first half and it was only it's only 31 25. That was like a first quarter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and, you know, half. but uh, I'm sure in, in here tonight we got not one but two great coaches that probably uh, voiced their opinion at halftime. Yeah, I'm sure they had a little chat. Yeah, and uh, so we're gonna we're uh, gonna get ready. It looks like we're gonna start with Nick Hilton, uh, uh, Taylor Freeman, B.J. Shelton, and Terrence Winnecke. And C.O.S. takes the ball in, and that is uh, Krejcevic. Derek Check had a good first half, and there's a nice move, and it's a block shot. That was by uh, looks like, Joffrey. Looks like Joffrey. Terrence. Nice fast break. Freeman made it. Terrence with that assist. Look that way. Rams. Uh, 
Yeah, they're going to try to slow it down again. And uh, how do you combat that, Tom? Well, get it and go. Got to get it go. They have to score. Like they did. City has to score. And when City scores, that allow them to go into a press, which hopefully they get some turnovers. Okay. That was a three-point shot. Once again, they take their time bringing the ball down. Five-point game. You have to say that right now, the, the, this game is being played, and COS is playing this game. Absolutely. They're, they're dictating the, uh, the tempo. By far. And City's playing good defense. I mean, both teams are playing good defense. It's just, like you said, tempo's Definitely a COS favor. Krakowicz taking his time, bringing the ball out. Aaron Cameron on him. He works his way back in. And, uh, oh, Aaron Cameron got hit in the mouth. And, uh, Krakowicz said what? Third? Uh, no, I think it's the second. Oh, totally second. Okay. But uh, he was amazed at the call, but Taylor Freeman took a shot in the mouth, and he's having it looked at right now. Pass inside. This is uh, D'Angelo. The city's going, Ashley. City's going to their two big guys. Got to give him a mismatch here. You don't see this set with Fresno. Oh, wow. Long three from the outside, and that is good by Derek Cheek. COS definitely heating up. Derek Cheek. And there's a steal by Turner Nelson, and we're going back the other way again, and it's back down to a two-point game again. Nice hands by Stallone, and a kick by uh, Kratzevich. And here comes... Uh, Romero Sanchez into the game. Maybe he'll provide a little spark for the Rams. Kids call him Macho on the team. So, hopefully he'll start playing that way. Good. I would imagine that uh, him and uh, Marcus Jr. were teammates in Clovis West. It could have been. Angelo Ashley, ah, oh, doesn't wow. get the bounce. Lids on that rim for City College right now. Yeah, it's just, that was a nice play by D'Angelo. From the corner for the lead, no, it's off the rim taken by Mike Crawley. Yeah, this is where they need to push the pace. Mike Crawley's having a good game in here tonight. He sure is. This is Josh Sykes. Dorsey, he wanted to shoot the three. He did shoot a three. Mike got his hands on the ball, yeah. Crawley uh, tapped the ball back in and uh, it was picked up by Kravich. Another long three by check. And guess what? The Rams are down 34-33. Two nice threes by Derek Check. Derek has a nice stroke, that's for sure. The foul was on Marcus Jr. City just seems out of sync right now, to be quite honest with you. The coach is trying to find that mix, and he just can't find it right now. I know a lot of people around the country are watching this game. 
Yeah. Uh, and I was just talking to a few of them. My uh, local former superstar in our area, Fred Clark, uh, is uh, watching this. He's back there running for mayor of uh, Idaho Springs, Colorado. Oh, all right. Jack a little short on that one. Yeah. And it, here comes Nick Hilton. Oh, it. nice pass by Hilton. Ooh, Beautiful yeah. pass. Jeffrey Stillman. Maybe that'll get him going. That was a great pass. He led him perfectly. On three by Kravitz doesn't go. And here comes Cameron to Nick. Terrence Winnicky. Oh, Winnicky! Man, he, he dunked that ball, and he was a long way from the basket when he left the when he left the ground. That was awesome. I know his folks are here tonight. That would probably that would get him out of the stands. Wow, what a play. That foul's going to be on Freeman, I believe. Excuse me, Aaron Cameron. Both teams playing hard, Chris. Both teams playing real hard. Marcus Jr. will get another. There's the Clovis West High graduate. Makes the second. And he's replaced in the lineup by Cody Wilson. Two-point ball game, 14 minutes and 16 seconds remaining. Uh-oh, that's going to be on BJ. Trying to think what Del Basha would say about right now. <laughs> uh, we sure missed Del, and uh, hope all's going well. You need him back on the court, hitting that three. I don't think he's missed since 1974. Yeah, uh, I don't think he's ever missed. Probably true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice play. <laughs> Tied up, Chris. Nice play, there you go, Aaron Cameron. Get the ball rolling as... Derek Check, who's... Oh, nice block by Weineke. BJ up for the rebound. Boy, Wernicke working, working like crazy in there. He sure is. Did a great job. Nick Hilton kicks it out to Wernicke. BJ. Nice block by the big guy. It looked like he got the ball, but maybe got the body too. So BJ will go to the line and shoot a couple. I think this is uh, an interesting game for the Rams, actually, to help them prepare for the playoffs because if they're going to have to work on it. This happens where a team slows the ball down. They, you know, 
they, they've always worked their way out of any situation. But, uh, man, we're... Yeah. A little too close we for got, We got 12 minutes and 48 seconds left in the game, and uh, went to, we got 40 points. Yeah. That's definitely not our style. But where do you get it back? You get it back on the D. Yep. Oh, Dorsey just missed intercepting it. And Check says, yeah, well, we're going to start all over out here. That's Freeman on him. Evan Stallon. Cody Wilson will take the ball out of bounds. Rams are talking to one another. They're 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 working. And they're just uh, this uh, slow down tactics. What? Zach Nuttall will go to the line. He'll shoot a couple. I'm not sure who the foul was on. There was three white jerseys up in the air. I didn't see anybody touch. Him. Nice free throw. Come the Rams the other way, and Stallone, Evan Stallone, bombs in a three, beautiful shot. Hopefully that'll get the crowd going a little bit. Yeah, it did, it kind of woke things up. <laughs> Evan, another one of those incredible players that come, came out of Golden Valley. That's been a gold mine for Fresno City. Uh, they got a couple coming back next year, too. Nice play by Check. They're having a hard time stopping him tonight. Yes. Oh, nice pass. Uh, Dorsey to Ashley. That's the first CC bucket of the game. Yes. on to the rebound to Dorsey Rams on the move Dorsey yeah I don't know if that's a good shot that did not look good from the second it left his hand no, I don't know I don't think coach Maddox would want that one shot selection so important in basketball especially college Nice shot. That was uh, by Adam Cottrell. Adam out of Manashi High. So we got a technical foul. What was it for? Evan and number three were running down the court, I think, and Evan pushed him off or something, supposedly. Rusty Smith uh, waiting the situation. Yeah. Meanwhile, Nuttall makes the first free throw. Does he get another? Now, it's, now he gets the technical. And it's a one-point ball game. Every time City starts to pull away, they something happens. Yeah, it's just uh, it's, I think it's the deliberate style that uh, COS is uh, laying on the ramps, and it's working. Out. 
is how the first game went too, from what I remember. And this guy right here, Kravitz, uh, he, I don't know how many points he has, but he has been kind of like the leader of this uh, slowdown. Turnaround shot by Bobby Kazar. They got the lead now, Chris. Rams are down a point. Get the ball to Hilton. City's ball movement is not as good as it usually is. Well, I've got to say, it, the, See, defense, now we go with that. the defense has a lot to do with it. It does. He had multiple passes there, four, five, six, seven passes, boom. They get an easy bucket, he missed, gets fouled. So. A couple of those trips down the court, it was one pass, two pass shot. That's just probably not the best way right now. Terrence Renneke is going to go to the free throw line. First one. Ties the game at 46. Check back into the uh, lineup for COS for Turner Nelson. Turner played some quality minutes there. Foul is on Terrence Winnicky. Wow. Foul's going to be on Aaron Cameron. Got him with the body as he uh, was going for the steal. Rams just trying to snap out of it. Yeah, they're in a funk. Simon. Krakowicz makes the first. He'll get another. Pitch on him. Yeah, it just doesn't seem like they're working plays like they. A lot of one-on-one -on -one play. Not typical Fresno City College basketball. So this is a COS with the lead. Good defense by the Rams. Vieira got away with a push there. Yeah, he sure did. Knocked down Winnicky. BJ <laughs> ties it up. A ball, it's stolen, it's BJ, boom! That's what we're talking about. That'll get the crowd going. That'll get City it going. did. Put the Rams back in the lead with eight minutes and ten seconds to go. Crowd can always help to get back in. It sure can. Amazing. Need some energy. They definitely need some energy here. A lot of fouls still being called. Well, this fellow right here, uh, Dita Piera, he's he's uh, he's a very good ball player. Grab their hands full with him, and he's only a freshman. Six eight. Yeah. 
Uberlandia, Brazil. You ever been there? No. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see, the Rams are going right now with uh, Evan Stallone, Josh Sykes, Cole Morgan. It's 50-50 as Dorsey brings the ball up. Kick it out to back out to Dorsey. Yeah, I tell you smart. Bro. They're just hacking it in the paint, dared him to shoot. That would be a travel. Well, Krakowicz, uh, boy, he did not give up on the play. You gotta give him that. Yeah, uh, he got double teamed. That was a tough double. Oh, wow. Josh is gonna be called for a blocking foul. 22, yep. There's the play by BJ. And back to the line, guess who? Dita Piera. And the young man from Brazil hits another one and puts COS back in the lead. Fifty-one fifty. <laughs> Gets the bounce. Fifty-two fifty. Here we go. Dorsey down the court. Top of the key at Sykes. Sykes driving in. Goes with the left hand. Gets the ball. Scores. Foul is on Piera, and that's. Uh, I'm not sure how many he's got on this. Three or four. But uh, Josh Sykes is going to get a, a free throw as well. Oh, an offensive board by BJ. They needed that. And get it to Sykes. They needed that. Yes. yes. Great pass by Cameron. BJ got the uh, uh, rebound. A great timeout. Smart timeout. There was the close of it. Boy, see how high she went in the air? That was scary. City College cheerleaders are very, uh, very good at gymnastics. And this one cheer they do, boy, she must go 10, 12 feet oh. in the air. When they catch her, it's like she's like four inches off the ground. I'm like, I get <laughs> <laughs> I cringe every time. So here's the deal. It's 54-52. And uh, it's 54-52, and we're heading down the home stretch with six minutes and 44 seconds. And let's see uh, what develops here. As uh, actually, you'd have to say this is anybody's ball game right now. Uh, for sure. Rams up by two. Rams down by one. Good shot. Three pointer was good. Count the basket. I believe that foul was on Cody Wilson.
So Rams come back and take the lead, then go down by a point. This is PJ. Coach Smith's not going to be happy about that foul. Well, yeah, it was uh, mm -hmm. on Kyle Hurt. He was holding B.J. Shelton. And, you know, you almost have to when you have a mismatch <laughs> like that. Uh, uh, B.J. and the little guys, you know, B.L.A.'s going to score on him. Yeah, so B.J.'s going to score that. Tried to hold him from getting in the middle. And just say, uh, let's see you do it on the line. B.J. says, okay. That's the way we'll do it. Tie game again. Gee, I wonder how many ties there's been. It's been a lot, for sure. In and out, in and out. Look at Wernicke. Oh, great effort. Excellent. Cross court, check, check. Yeah, West slowing it down, taking their time. Clock shock down to five seconds. Tough Three shot. point. Weineke for the rebound. Nice play. Coast to coast by Simon Krepich. Joffrey Stalin, you know, Joffrey's had a good game in here tonight. Sure has. Joffrey and, uh, and Cauley. Number four, Simon's really, really like his game. Very in control, handle the pressure. He's done a really good job for CLS. Brings the ball out and says, let's take it under five minutes here. Yeah. He stops, pops, yeah. hits a three, and that's huge. That's huge. 60-57. Cameron for three, right back. The answers. Ties it up. The first three. Uh, we haven't hit very many threes tonight. We got to get some stops. We haven't had a stop here in a while. Wow. Yep. Well, that's going to put uh, Marcus Jr. on the line. Been there quite a bit tonight. Four minutes, 23 seconds. And we're at tied at 60s. The referees are having a conference right now. And, and Junior. Missed the first one. Mike Crawley's back in. He hasn't been in for a while. Let's see if Mike can do something. Evan Stallone back out to Sykes. He kicks it out to Crawley. Buries the three. Rams call time. So they just don't look. What was the turnover there? He traveled. He traveled. Turned his back. Traveled. He did. Just looking at Fresno State, they don't have a lot of energy right now for some Mike reason. Mike Colley buries the three. They're in for a dog. Well, he said it was going to be a dog fight. It's a dog fight. CLS just has an answer for everything. City just needs a spark. It's going to become sparking.
2-2-1. Marcus Jr. calls time. They wanted to take a look at the defense, see what they're going to do. So I guess uh, we'll start hearing about the brackets next Wednesday, right? Oh, is that what it is? Oh. I believe so. Oh, okay. And uh, uh, we'll have to see where everybody lands. Uh, Rams are currently ranked seventh in the state. And uh, Saddleback has been ranked first for quite a long, quite a long time now. They're going to be tough to beat. They're going to be tough to beat. Oh, there's a lot of good teams. Oh, a lot of good teams. Sure, we'll get a home playoff game. I'm sure, first round, or second round, we'll get a couple home playoff games. Hopefully, people come out and support. Oh, I'm sure they will. And uh, you know, the Rams are having an off night. I'd rather have it be tonight than any other time. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> they've already clinched the conference. That's right. That's right. Oh gosh. That's a tough foul in the backcourt. One on one, double bonus for them. Ah, that's the wrong guy to foul. That's the wrong guy to foul too. That's the big part of that. Wrong guy to foul. Simon Kravacic going to the line, and uh, he's been money from there all night. And the young man from Slovakia calmly puts the Giants up by two. He'll get one more shot. He's told to put his uh, shirt tail in. He does so. As we see five new white jerseys getting ready to come in. Up so right. it's a three-point lead. And here comes Terrence Winnicky, Aaron Cameron, B.J. Schelt, Joffrey Stillman, and Nick Hilton. Good start, Aaron Cameron, his second three in a row. Aaron could be that spark. He's a fiery player. Eric check. The long three and the rebound taken by Cameron. This is to BJ. BJ up around and in. Nice pass. The Rams take the lead. Pressure's picked up defensively. And once again, here we go. Simon Gravowitz. Looking for another one. I wouldn't let him shoot. Give and go, and who's the foul going to be on? Wow, tough call again. Coach Maddox asking for a travel. I, I like to think Coach Maddox right on that one. Yeah, that's a tough call. Puts him to the line again. Just. There's BJ the last time down. I want to be fouling him, Chris. Nope, he's the guy that uh, certainly the Giants want to have on the line. Yeah. Hate to be redundant. <laughs> well, it's true. Oh. oh, my gosh. Oh, and they got the rebound. Yeah. Wow. Great Joffrey. defensive play by Terrence Winnicky. Awesome rebound by Joffrey. Oh, oh, oh. Throw it away. Gosh. Didn't need that. Two and a half minutes left. Just that, play. That was, that was important. That was hard to watch. That was not good. Great rebound, great hustle. You had to believe, you know, that you know, Nick's, Nick's a good shooter. More than willing to take that shot. Yeah, that's okay. Aaron made the right read, just a little hyped. 
He'll get it back. By Kyle Hurt. Yeah, don't want to leave him open. Not Hurt. Hurt bad. Hurt out of Emmanuel High School. They've had a pretty doggone good team out there these last couple of years. Here goes BJ and rolls off the front of the rim with a minute and 48 seconds. They got to get a stop here, Chris. It's important. Important possession. Yep, timeout. Smart call. <laughs> A lot of time left, we're fine. Hard to believe. It's hard to believe. Because the machine the machine has been rolling so well uh, in these last uh, few uh, games, uh, the whole season really. And uh, tonight it's just that uh, it seems like COS has their number. They know when to slow the game down and, uh, and they, they're doing it well. They have all night. They've had an answer from the very beginning. They went a little run, they did something, whether it was a first forced a turnover, a foul, and, right. they've, and they've capitalized. Right. Where, uh, But we still got a minute and 41 seconds oh. to go in this contest, and that could be a lot of stuff can happen in a minute and 41, that's for sure. It's by no yeah. means are they out of no, it. No, no, no. They got to get a stop here. They got to get a stop. That was. Both the teams are in, the, uh, are in the bonus situation as far as fouls go. Graham's going to go with uh, Wenicky and uh, B.J. Shelton. Joffrey, Nick. And Cameron. Ball into check. B.J. on him. Give it back out to uh, Krakovic. Want to get on him. Pulls it out again with a minute and 26 remaining. A long three. Okay. Doesn't even get rim. This is BJ. They are looking for Hilton as well. And BJ lays it in. BJ Shelton. Beautiful play by BJ. He just willed that ball in. Here he is. Beautiful, nice shot too by the truck. Very good job. And now for the big free throw that could, that will put the Rams up by one as Mike Cauley comes into the game. I love, look at BJ's Winecki. jersey. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been a tough, it's been a battle in there tonight. It really has. I like it. Ooh, that's short. Oh, tired. No legs on that one. So we're still tied as we head into the last minute. Off the travel, off the travel. 55, 13 on the shot clock. This is Kravitz. He's gonna stop. This is Chet. Chet's had some big threes, that's gonna be short. And Mike Crowley comes up with a rebound. Here we go, here we go. And we go the other way. Inside the Stallings. 20 seconds on that shot clock. Stillman, rather. Sorry. Nick Hilton with 20 seconds. 13, 12 on the shot clock. BJ. About BJ. seven. Seven seconds. Don't foul on him. One second. Nope. Shot up. That's off. Oh, we're going to overtime. Wow. Holy cow. Wow. 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 Overtime it is. Thank you, sweetie. Wow. Well. Overtime. That was a great ending right there. I mean, uh, it's not It's not over. Wow. I was very worried about... Uh, whether or not they were going to get a shot off, and they didn't. And then they almost got the rebound. That, uh, but they played good D as they brought the ball up, and, and no foul committed. So we go to overtime.
Yeah, I was. And Simon had the ball coming down. That was, uh, ooh. I was nervous on that. He's such a good player. Well, you know, I'll, 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 I'll tell you what, Tom. It's been a nervous night, hasn't it? <laughs> this, this has just been a nervous night. And uh, I don't know. It just seems like the Rams uh, kind of in a funk. But then again, you got to give credit to uh, to COS because they, they make it. They've been making it happen. Let's, let's slow down tactics. Uh, you know, uh, take their time. Uh, you used the word earlier to be deliberate. You're absolutely, that's exactly what they've been, is deliberate. Very deliberate and, and playing good defense. Definitely playing good defense. So the Rams have been scoring a lot more than six or seven points. Yes, they have. Lately, uh, this whole last month. But uh, right now, they're going to stick with the crew they had on the floor. Except they're taking... Uh, Crawley out and uh, putting in uh, Sykes. Well, both teams in the 101. Sykes and Piera, and Nick Hilton steals it. Piera got the jump, and Hilton stole it. What a and move. There. Nice, oh, Cameron, how gosh. did that roll out? How could that roll out? I'm telling you, the lid is on our basket tonight a little bit. It's like our third or fourth roll out in the last couple of minutes. Four minutes and uh, 35 seconds uh, crossing over on the clock. This is Check. Derek Check. Got a, got a bounce on that one, did Piera. Wow. And they take the lead by two. 4-12 remaining. And here's BJ. Nice pass. Oh, foul, wow. There was the foul. Great play by uh, Joffrey. Joffrey, yeah, to save the ball. Edward. Joffrey's going to put it in and wow. score. And Shoot a free throw, how about that? Red hustle. The last 10 seconds. Oh, Joffrey. Fantastic. He misses the free throw. 350 remain. Check brings the ball up for COS. Nick Hilton on him. Here comes Turner Nelson. Oh, great save. Wow. That was a great play by Cameron. He took a shot when he was on the ground, too. Sure did. Oh, BJ. Oh, man. You need to call him Diesel. Boy, that was beautiful. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. I really like who they have on the floor right now with City College. Yeah. Good offense, good defense. Here's another long shot by Chet. High for the rebound. Goes. I think we need a new ceiling on that one, Chris. Joffrey has <laughs> just been incredible these last few minutes. He sure has. Wow. He cannot get Cameron that wall. Cameron just wow. it falls off the front of the rim. And we go the other way. Holy cow. Rams up by two. This is Simon Kravich. There's a three-pointer, short, and it's run down by Mike Crawley. Come on, you guys need to get, we got the shooter coming back in here. BJ with the ball in the forecourt. Maddock calls the play. Ram set up. Here's Shelton. Shelton to Joffrey. Joffrey, oh, oh my God! Oh, the glass and in. And one. 
They should have called that. Wow. Great little jump hook by Joffrey. Joffrey, Joffrey. has taken this game over. Yeah, he has. Holy cow. No, let, no threes. Get in him. They got to get in him, Chris. Rock Big rolls stop. down to 132. Big step. Uh oh. Oh, oh my beautiful gosh. play by Kratvich. He is a player. 73 71. A minute and 15 seconds remain. This is BJ. What? Stepped out of bounds. And here come five New Jerseys. So COS. That was a big play. Calls a big timeout. And uh, boy, I'll tell you, you got to give it to the CMAC crew here tonight because. This is the second game, and both games have run long, and this crew has done a great job. And uh, they're hanging in there. You guys are great back there. Terry Dolphin. And, and uh, oh, there she goes. They even get the high uh, jumping uh, They're good. Cheerleader. They're really good. Cesar, you've done a wonderful job. It's, uh, it's just been a long night for everybody, but Right now, the Rams hope with a minute and sixty, a minute and six seconds remaining, they hold a two-point lead. There you see Ed Maddock. He's in there. He's the one with the white hair. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you to do that to you. <laughs> yeah. Hard to believe he's 32 years old. <laughs> Rams going with D'Angelo, Ashley, Will Dorsey, Evan Salon, Terrence. All the sophomores. Oh, really? Yeah, yep. I, I had noticed that. All the sophomores. All right. I like it. And here we go. See Ball into Piera. Piera back to Marcus Jr. Marcus Jr. with Terrence. Oh, nice, nice play. play. Oh! <laughs> Terrence Weineke called for the foul. I guess he got him with the body, but he got the ball too. Wow. Tough call. 48.3 seconds, and Dida Piera is on the line. He's going to get two shots. These are probably the biggest shots he's taken since he's been uh, in the States. <laughs> First one up and in. Nails. I think COS has showed tonight uh, that they have a deep bench too. These guys are, they're, they're, they don't get hurt when the guys come in. They know the tempo. They sure do. That they're all doing, so. Here he is again. He did Pierre. And it's up yep. and it's in. And it's we got running. a tie game at 48.3 seconds. Aaron Cameron bringing the ball up. And the Rams call timeout. So, 42 seconds, 25 seconds on the shot clock. Boy, nail biting time. It is. And, uh, I got one left. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, this, is, uh, this has been an interesting game. Uh, it, it's had, it certainly had its ups and downs. Uh, it's big for both teams. Both teams are going into the playoffs. So uh, this is this is actually working. It's a good thing for both of them. It is, it is. You know, leagues won, you know, Play under pressure. Won, yeah, it is. Overtime, it's gonna go down to the wire. It's, again, in overtime, it's gonna go down to the wire here. Right. See, it, it really comes down to execution. Who's gonna be able to execute on offense and then get a defensive stop? That's been the well, name of the game all night. So. Well, the bulk of it, it hasn't been the most uh, incredible game of all time, but <laughs> they everybody's hung in there. Both teams yeah. have hung in there, and uh, the crowd has uh, hung in there. It's a great crowd. 
I look over and I see uh, Ed Maddox's wife, Maya, and she's clapping her hands. Come on, guys. Oh, she's the biggest fan. Three great kids, beautiful family. This is Cameron, better. Long three attempt. And he was out of bounds. Wow. A new shot clock. No idea what's going on with that. Referee, they called it Rams out of bounds. Now they, I think they've changed it. Mike it Martin could be a shot over. clock because they called a timeout here, right? Right? It was like 25 seconds up to the shot well, clock. Well, I that guess it's a matter of seconds. who had possession or... Yeah, I, he was out. There's no shot clock violation. That's weird. Oh, well, that was the last shot clock, though. Oh, that I was think... the last shot clock. You know what they're trying to do? They're trying to figure out how much is left on the shot clock because he reset it just now because it, he went out, but well, I that, thought he got... Right now they got 90 seconds on the <laughs> shot clock, so we know that's not right. He would like that. Well, we're still not ahead yet, so... Nine so seconds. They're putting nine seconds on the shot clock. 31.3 seconds in the game, nine seconds on the shot clock. Referees conference. They like to go to BJ on this. We'll see. Nick yep. Hilton taking it out of bounds. The call of foul. Oh, was a foul on Marcus Jr. And that's going to put BJ at the line, I believe. Yeah, double bonus. A lot of time left. Oh, yeah, 27.6. BJ Shelton. Makes the first, gets another. Makes the second, and now the defense. Let's see. This is checked with the ball in the backcourt. We're gonna go low. BJ on him, they call a quick timeout. Shot, the shot clock will be off. 20.7 seconds, no shot clock. So they're going to want to uh, call their play and take it down to, as far on the clock as they can before they get the shot. Here you see the second of P.J.'s free throws. And he made both of them, and they were huge. Rusty Smith, you see there. They're in a good spot. As he's yeah. done so many times. Writing out the play for those Giants. What a great rivalry between these two schools. It's been great. It's Football, like, basketball, baseball, it's always been that way. Yep. Even track. A lot of great players, uh, uh, you know, have come out. All Americans. And curious. here we are. Hey, you look good. Hey, if, uh, I'm curious to see if they can run that same play, that lob. Or do they go for the three? I mean, go for the win? No, I, I think they'll go just... Go for the two. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, you know, I, they got some good three-point shooters. They got number... Uh, they, I, I think they're going to look inside to see what they can get. Yeah. And then and then if they don't get it, take that three. Let's see what happens here. Uh-oh, going to the rack. Okay. Foul is called on... That's, that's his, oh, I think it was called on BJ. That's his fifth. Is it? Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> Regardless, whether it's... Maybe it's not his fifth. Evan said must have been his fourth. Good. Pierre is going to go to the line. And these are big free throws. These are big. 
crowd making lots of noise. He made it. Wow. Shit's really good for a big guy. Turner Nelson checks back in for Kyle Hurt. He misses this. It's important to get that rebound and go. Get it and go. Okay. He made it. It's a tie game. One 16 shot. seconds. Hold it for that last shot. Cameron brings the ball up into the fourth court. Timeout Rams. Boy, they waited a little bit. They want to get it at half court. Uh, it's a full timeout, and uh, it's a tie game. You don't think we could possibly go into another overtime, do you? I think we're going to win it right here. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, Get it to BJ. Uh, these, are, these are two coaches involved in a game of chess, no doubt about it. No doubt. He's been money. Yeah, he made he wow. made uh, he made four down the stretch. He sure did. Actually, uh, down the stretch, it's been uh, Joffrey uh, Stillman, uh, BJ, and uh, that young fella there, Dita Piera. Although you got to watch out for number four, you know. He's that silent assassin, Simon. I think Travis, we're gonna... He's a great player. <laughs> he, he, sure he is. is. And, he, and he's a he's a sophomore. Yeah. Slovakia. Thank goodness. <laughs> Here we go. DJ. What was the call? Oh, it's out of bounds with yeah. uh, 1.9 seconds. So, wow. Let's see what they do here. You know, I'll tell you, Derek Check did a good job there cutting off BJ's lane uh, his, to see. Nick Kelton! Yes, oh! oh, my God. Oh, oh my gosh. I saw that coming. Oh, my gosh. Rusty Smith gives Ed Maddock a big hug. Oh, that was up. What happened was he got, they went, they switched defense yep. and left Nick all by himself. Absolutely. And he laid it up and in. Oh my gosh, what an incredible ending. Oh man. Great ending. Hey, that was that awesome. That was great, man. That was awesome. The players are all, they look over with a, a smile and a sigh of relief. Holy cow. Sure. Nobody lost that game. Well, I mean, yes, somebody did lose that game, but boy, that was exciting, even though it was a... Nail-biter. Yeah, 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 it was. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, let me ask uh, the truck, are we gonna take a break? Boy, the way the, the crowd is now, everybody's yelling and, and, and it's great. Uh, talking and leaving. And you'd think it was a really, really uh, uh, incredible game. game. Yeah. But <laughs> so the Rams uh, take it home. And uh, we're going to uh, we're going to take a break. Yeah, we'll be right back. We're going to make a player of the game. We're going to pick one, uh, Tom and I, and uh, you have yours. I'll have mine. We'll arm wrestle over it, and we'll see what happens. Oh, my gosh. Okay, can't wait. So we'll take a break, and we'll come right back. Hmm. Sure. Yep, Smith. Homework? That would be 3.6795. Thanks. Yep. He helps me with my decision-making. I wouldn't use this one. Ever. And he's even teaching me how to drive. And that's why cars have bumpers. I'm learning so much. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. 
Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. So, I just moved in with this family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Uh, we're going to talk about... Yeah, just yeah, just talking with one of the heroes of the game, and uh, nice going, Mike. Great job. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the highlights first, and then we'll... Uh, We'll uh, pick our player of the game. Right here is, uh, let's see, what's going on? Oh, this is, uh, that's Josh uh, Sykes came in. That was a big, uh, that was a big deuce that's right big, there. He played in the first half, started that run. Oh yeah, that was nice. What, got, a, what a game. <laughs> it was. What, what an incredible game. Kind of a, you know, grind out game. I know Coach Maddox likes to say, to make a state playoff run, you have to execute in half court. Even though they played full court, oh my goodness, that was Terrence. That was huge right there, Terrence Winnicky. He, he, uh, they were down at that point. They were down, that was a big play. That was big. There's BJ. Awesome, awesome. There's BJ. Hi everybody and welcome back. Uh, I got a couple of players we're going to introduce to you right now. Why don't you guys come back here? Why don't we get up here, Tom? And, you got it. You got it. And uh, we're going to. Are we going to use the stick mic for this? Okay. Where are we? Good day. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. We didn't know where we were for a second because that last thing gave us a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, these are two of the great sophomores at Fresno City College. Both of you played a great game tonight. You were, you were unbelievable. What, what, what was with you tonight? Um, I think it was more so, it was just all adrenaline from that loss that we took early on in the season from them. We just knew we weren't losing again. Unbelievable. What did you think, D'Angelo? Uh, I think we played really good. Um, defensively, I just try to uh, do what I can for our team. And from the loss earlier, just try to come back harder. You know, it seemed like it was a tough game tonight. Uh, you know, they, they, they played that slowdown tactics. They jammed you up on defense a lot. And uh, it seemed like it took a, a, a long time to get going. You think? Uh, a little bit. I mean, we had a few other aspects of it that were holding us back. Just a lot of it was just more so mental and R.N. I wouldn't even say it was them so much. I mean, no, no discredit to that team at all. They're a good team. But... We just had a lot of things going on mentally before the game, just getting prepared for it. There was a lot of jitters, again, from that loss. We just didn't want to lose again. You know, there's something about you, man. You played on the last time we won the state championship, and, and then you're off for three years, and you come back, and holy smokes, we're on our way again. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely something great to be here. Uh, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now. I mean, I took a couple years off just to take care of my daughter and my fiance, but other than that, I mean, this is what I'm here for. So I'm ready to win it all again. Man, I'm proud of both of you guys. D'Angelo, what's your career? Uh, you know, uh, you're a sophomore now. Uh, who knows what the future holds? I guess we won't worry about that until the playoffs and the state championship. Oh, yeah, we got to win this state. That's the only goal right now. I'm not worried about next year. It's about now. So we're going to get that done. And See how it goes. Great, man. That's awesome. And uh, who's this beautiful young lady? This is this is my daughter. Say say hi. What, what a doll. Congratulations, guys. We, we'll uh, we'll see you next week. Way to go. Way to go, D'Angelo. All right. Good night, everybody. Thanks very much for being with us. There's four cameras here, but we'll see you next time. Take care. Hey, can I get a